Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend so far. I'm here to talk a little bit about The Flash. There's this small update, but it's not recent. It's actually, this is actually taken from November of last year, around the time of uh, when the Fantastic Beast had a press junket in, in what looks like to be Japan. Uh, Flash solo updates at Flash Solo News. Just put this up yesterday but i want to talk a little bit about it ezra miller this talks about the flash and why the production is taking so long and he says that how the film will be like a gift to dc flash fans now when you watch this video and i'll link uh the twitter link onto the description below but when you listen to him he's super enthusiastic about it and super positive it is coming out for sure and that he they wanted to make it the best possible flash movie you've ever seen and uh which all sounds great and incredible and hopefully it actually does get made but if it does and if it's anything like he talks about he's talking about multiverse here where the flash will connect all the different universes into that movie in a way it's almost like spider-man into the spider-verse if you will but a live action version of it and that actually excites me because that actually would kind of uh, bring it all together in a way. You know where we're talking about how we're going to have the little uh, uh, a, a new Batman for the Matt Reeves the Batman. We're going to have a new Joker, Joaquin Phoenix for the Joker film, right? And then we're going to have all these other takes on the movies of the universe and they're not going to really connect. But there's one way that you could definitely connect different versions of Batman, of Superman perhaps, or of Supergirl and blah 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 is to have the Flash weave in and out of the multiverse. The multiverse would explain why all these other universes would actually happen, why these other universes could be happening at the same time. And I think that is a perfect way to get a Flash movie going across, especially when a lot of people who are part of the CW know exactly how Flash gets Flash's powers and stuff like that. So maybe a Flash origin film wouldn't be in enough even though you you probably disagree with me and say that you want a flash origin film fair but for people who already know about flash like myself and other people uh, a lot of DC fans it's great to actually automatically get to that point where he has the power to do the multiverse stuff uh, flash point point e ish maybe maybe not I don't think so I don't think it's gonna get to that type but they could probably hint at those other universes in the same way um, maybe a little bit more lighthearted as we were we're being told it would be um, but uh, it would still work and what and that is actually a positive thing for the DCU EU fans from before the Snyderverse fans because that means it's possible we could also see a little bit of the nightmare uh, scenes from Batman v Superman. They can touch upon it because it's like it's part of it. It's, it's the universe. Has, it was done. He could technically just drop in there, see his other self in this in that Iron Man type anthem type suit, uh, powered suit, and say, "Oh, that was that universe, and that was that universe." He could pop it in and out. They could show it really quick, or they could go really into it. Uh, and if they go really into it maybe like a whole scene in that nightmare universe that would pave way that would pave way to the Snyderverse actually could be existing in a way uh, or it, uh, pave way to have the Snyder cut come out you know what I mean I don't know if we're gonna have to wait that long hopefully not uh, but uh, it, it would actually pave way for that it would explain why we can have different versions of Justice League why we can have different versions of Joker different versions of Batman and all these different universes be to Together, seamlessly in this multiverse type scenario and, and have Flash do that would be quite spectacular and something fresh and new that uh, current general audiences have not seen other than Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. But since Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse did it first, you might as well look at that and says, oh, 
Flash is doing that, but we understand Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse, and so now we can understand the Flash in multiverses, right? And so I think that's a great thing uh, if it does come to fruition, if he does come and make that, and it is going to be multiverse, and it's the way I'm thinking it's going to be, then the Snyder Cut would be so... It would fit. It would fit well, and they could explain it away uh, just in that movie that that happened, so this is that's Darkseid, and then we can have Ava DuVernay's version of Darkseid, so on and so forth. And, and I know a lot of people are like, come on, move on from the Snyder Cut already. Move on. Well, guess what? There's one person who's definitely not moving on, and that's Ray Fisher because he came on today he's at uh, I think he was like a wonder con or I forgot which con he's at but he's climbing this rock wall in this video and he's he went all the way to the top and he starts ringing the bell and he's crying out he's calling out a bell cannot be unrung a bell cannot be unrung and jumps down and he's you look closely he's wearing the shirt he's wearing the Snyder shirt that's right, he's wearing the Snyder shirt that Zack Snyder made, um, the black shirt with the symbols on it, uh, and he's, he's displaying it. He even took a picture of himself right on the open. He is definitely championing the release of Snyder Cut. He's definitely championing the Snyder Cut. He has not given up, um, and, and he's definitely crying out. He even tweeted it out, the bell cannot be unrung. And I, that's a great, a great shot in the arm, like my friend over on Twitter, Kenny, has says, a great shot in the arm for a, a little, a dry spill that we've had with the Snyder Cut so far. And it's great. It's fantastic. Uh, and I love that he's so enthusiastic about it. He's openly showing his support about it, uh, openly showing his shirt and everything about it. And uh, I can't wait to see what will come of this. Uh, if anything, I'm sure Zack Snyder already liked that post or whatever. And uh, I am so happy that he did it. It was so it got everybody back together, kind of just chanting "Release the Snyder Cut" on this Oscar day. Uh, and he's not the only one who's who's also talking about it, right? Uh, this is coming from Greco Greco uh, at Theos. Uh, underscore unfeeling he this is exclusive from him uh, he actually had a picture of uh, he tweeted this out a picture of Eli Snyder which is Zack Snyder's son they're staying together he had tweeted or messaged DM'd at Eli underscore Snyder he said hello I speak on behalf of everyone when we are asking desperate news or confirmations about your father's court every day for two years we wake up hoping to have the vision of your father someday uh, and of course he's talking about Snyder's vision of the Justice League and the he re Eli replied black hi Joshua total optimism good things are coming soon the thumbs up so uh if that is true if that is definitely eli snyder uh and greco uh says it is he has a video it's all in spanish so i can understand but um that's incredible that eli himself has said that good things are coming soon i'm very optimistic but i've been optimistic so far about it uh this just makes it even better and better and uh i can't wait to see what comes of this after all all of this uh and it's it's not it's not only him i mean his father is still liking it right his father is still very much uh um liking these posts of release the standard cut post craig at darth maul 13 he uh uh, he he's, he's tweeted out this picture of Jacob Torres's release of Snyder Cut um, um, picture where you see all the Spartans and you see the heads of all the individuals who kind of uh, championing or uh, kind of uh, supporting the Snyder Cut. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thank thank you thank you for adding me to one of the faces right behind Jay Oliver. That's kind of cool. Um, but um, it says hashtag release the Snyder Cut hashtag Snyder Cut I stand with, hashtag Snyder, I stand with Zack Snyder. And of course, Zack Snyder liked it. Of course, of course he did. He totally supports it as well. We have not given up, and a lot of us have not given up. The people who made the film have not given up, uh, and the support is just ov overwhelming, and it's great. And even Sonny Bunch, who has thousands and thousands of followers, um, 
you know, he every once in a while, he's a verified on Twitter, which is a uh, say out release of Snyder Cut. And that little bit just adds a little bit more attention to the Snyder Cut fans and to the Snyder Cut. And hopefully this spells that this could actually be released real soon or at least announced or at least talked about it. Now, I don't know if it's going to be coming out of Comic-Con. I don't know if it's going to be in a big way. Um, uh, I have thought about it even. Uh, I just saw Kenny, your message to me about it. That, yeah, I do believe it's gonna, they're going to play it low-key, if anything. If they're when they're going to announce it. They're going to announce it on some blog or something. Uh, and there's going to be another version of Justice League coming out with this blah, blah, blah. Maybe for a streaming service or something. Or for uh, trades, like you said. Um, it, will, it will probably downplay um i mean it, i wouldn't i will be extremely happy and incredibly it'll be incredibly awesome if they did a big reveal and stuff but i i don't think they will i think it's going to be low-key but anything is better than nothing at least something some type of acknowledgement announcement uh about the snyder cut would would go a long way long way and i don't know uh, when that's going to happen, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll get here a lot more in the coming weeks, and I think we will. Uh, today is the last day, and I think it's over for the release, uh, the, the, the t-shirt um, that is kind of about the Justice League, you know, the Justice League Zack Snyder shirt that he made uh, for the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention, so the last day is here. And uh, it, interesting enough, it was like a year from today where we had a little bit of the Zack Snyder cut uh, teases on Vero. Uh, so it is interesting that we are reached one year of com uh, continuing to show support for it, uh, continuing to donate to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. Uh, I think it's an incredible thing uh, where we all work together to about this uh, and um, you know hopefully we get to hear more uh, from the Snyder Cut and hopefully we get to do a little more about these charities and donations it's, it's incredibly awesome uh, and it's a good feeling it's a good feeling when people come together to do a good thing all right guys well that is it for tonight thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye